Thanks for clicking back onto the channel. It's Vintage and Collectible Stuff here, your host, with another video of things that I've purchased over the past oh, seven to 10 days. And let's start off with the baseball. And the very first thing I'd like to show you is my new Derek Jeter card. It's a you know pre-Major League debut. It's his Yankees Top Prospects card from 1993 Upper Deck when he played for the Greensboro Hornets, card number 185. I, I certainly didn't have this, but now I do. Two cards from the 1970 Opeachy set. And the first one shows two Oakland A's rookies, Vita Blue and Gene Tennis, both of whom were, were key contributors to the Oakland A's uh, dynasty and had great careers. Now this guy had a better than a great career. He had a Hall of Fame career, and that's Willie Stargell of the Pittsburgh Pirates. And I'm gonna follow that up with a second year Ricky Henderson Tops 1981 card. So it's his, uh, not his rookie card, but his second year. It's got a little bit of value and it goes into my personal collection as well. And that brings me to my last baseball card. This is the Roger Clemens Tops rookie, which apparently was graded by this now defunct grading company, North American Sports Authenticators. So if somebody knows how to crack open this, this case here, that'll be great because I don't want to damage the card. And uh, if you have experience, maybe send me a line, send me an email, and uh, tell me how to safely go about opening that case so I can get the card out. All right. Next, we've got a bunch of unopened wax packs. And we're going to start, first of all, with 1977. Oh, yeah, all of you remember the Gong Show on TV, if you're, if you're old enough. So this is a pack of seven cards, one sticker, and one piece of gum from Fleer. So that was neat. We've got uh, 1978 Three's Company. There's Jack Tripper and his two roommates. This comes with five stickers and one stick of bubblegum. Unopened, as you can see. We've got 1991 Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves with Kevin Costner, uh, Morgan Freeman and Christian Slater and a whole bunch of other pretty great actors in the movie. So this is an unopened glossy movie film, uh, pictures and one sticker. No gum. And then finally, 1982 MASH from the TV series, not the movie. This is six full color photos with one piece of gum in there. So that is also, these things are gonna be on my eBay store. So I'll put the link to that at the end or in the description. All right, for you music fans back in the 1990s, we've got it's, uh, what year is this? This is the Backstreet Boys. I think it's 1996 stickers. There's two packs in here. There are stickers for the sticker album. So if you were a fan of that or your daughter or granddaughter was a fan. And then we've got 1996 stickers again, this time for Baywatch. And there's David Hasselhoff and Pamela Anderson, who of course has a... Uh, a Netflix documentary coming out very, very soon. So that'd be kind of cool to get this for you Pamela Anderson fans. Now a couple sports related wax packs and this is a 1969 NBA patches made of real cloth. So uh, I'm not too sure how many patches are in here, but it is from a sealed, still sealed wax pack has a piece of gum in it, I can feel that. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll get Chicago Bulls patch or a Los Angeles Lakers. And this is a 1968 from Fleer, uh, iron on for Major League Baseball teams. So in here, you got a piece of gum and you get three iron ons. So it could be, uh, could be from the Boston Red Sox, or the New York Yankees, the Baltimore Orioles, or the Dodgers, the Giants, you name the team that was around in 1968. So won't be your Montreal Expos or your Seattle Mariners, but other teams. 
And then I've got a 1982 pack here of Fleer baseball cards. And this one has, of course, possibly have the 1982 Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card. So this is actually gonna go in my personal collection. I'm not gonna sell it on eBay. And I'm gonna put those over here, put these over here. And now for the two big reveals. So let's start with this one. This is a unused 1977 temporary tattoos from the rock band Kiss. So of course, I did a bit of research and found out that Kiss came out with their Alive 2 album in 1977, which is I guess a live album or album that was recorded live while they were playing. And they put a whole bunch of promotional items in their album and this is one of the things that you got if you bought the LP. So, uh, of course, got Gene Simmons here. And you've got some autographs and the other band members and logos for Kiss. So, this, very rare. Uh, doesn't come up very often on eBay, so you can get yourself that if you are a big time Kiss fan. And last but not least, what is behind door number one, Vanna? And what we've got here is a Gaudi. Now, is it the Babe Ruth Gaudi? Now that would be amazing because I would ne I've never had a card that old before, but it's not the Babe Ruth. It's not even a baseball card. It is a Geronimo from 1933. Very sweet looking card. It's in, I would say in very good to excellent condition. Uh, rounded corners, a bit fading, um, no tears, no creases that I can see. There's the back of it. So you see it's from number 25 out of 96 cards. So from my research team, it says that there were five different variations of 1933 of this set. And one of them had the blue background on the, on the writing. The other four had the red. So this obviously has red and different variations had different counts of how many cards. So this is a from the 96 card set. And uh, yeah, Geronimo. So very nice looking card. I'm going to wait and get this graded next time I send my cards out to, uh, to be authenticated. So that's it. That's my big surprise there, my big reveal. My first 1933 Gaudi card and my 1977 Kiss stickers and my 1982 unopened pack of Fleer. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like the channel and check out my eBay store. I'll put the link in the bottom in the description. So thanks again. Till next time.